Are you guys ready for a fuck ton of post commentary? Because that's exactly what this episode's about to be. So, from here, we tried to navigate to where I think is the correct region to get a tower. Now, this area right here, I did start commentating for a little bit, but I was like, wow, there's just so much, it's so spread out, there's a ton of enemies, and it was going on for like 5 to 10 minutes. And, again, the point of this, ep you know, me doing things the way I'm doing is to emphasize getting as much progress done at once. Which is also why the episodes are 30 minutes opposed to 15, like normally. So, cut the bullshit, it's fine. There's, again, there's just so much stuff there to smash and explore, and I, I can't help it. I like exploring, I like goodies. It is the video game person inside of me, and there's so many guys. Now, there is a shrine going off, because I noticed that. I couldn't find the shrine. I don't know where it is. I think it's off the cliff, but I didn't feel like chancing it, and I'm like, okay, I mean, I guess it's not like I don't have a travel medallion to warp back up there. But, like, a lot of me doing stuff like this is also to try and cut the bullshit as well, so that's why, you know, we didn't show myself going to get that last memory, was because it was 20 minutes of me wandering around lost, not knowing where the fuck I'm going. So I'm trying to avoid that with shrines as well. If I spot it, I spot it. But if I don't, I'm not going to let the radar deter me and waste a whole bunch of our time. We're going to go back and get them all anyway, so it's not like we're truly missing out on a bunch of stuff. I'm wondering around this because I'm like, how in God's name do you climb this monstrosity? I just wanted the chest, so then I had the brilliant idea of just use stasis and blow it the fuck up. And sure enough, that worked to perfection. But yeah, I think I think I recognize this area. It looks kind of familiar, and I'm like exploring just loosely a little bit, and then I'm like, okay, well maybe it's up on top of this cliff, so I just decide to start climbing that. So like I am looking for it just a little bit, but I mean you can kind of tell I'm wandering around lost, and then you still got all these guys. Now that white moblin there has like way 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 more health than everyone else, but when you kill him, he drops depressive stems. That was a good tongue slip. That was, um, you know, I mentioned that in Gerudo Town. I alluded to it earlier when I was like, yeah, it gets harder. But, I mean, that was kind of a dumbass sentence to say because no shit, it gets harder. That's how video games work. But, yeah, those guys are severely worth doing and fighting. Also, um, I'm going to go ahead and correct a couple mistakes because I realized this. And I'm putting myself in a little bit of a funny position here where I'm not entirely sure how I want to do things next because of the way I ended this recording session. So, I learned that the Trial of the Sword actually isn't quite the Cave of Ordeals or Pit of a Hundred Trials. I was under the impression that it was 100 consecutive floors all the way through. It's actually not. It's more like, I guess you could say the Trial Galaxies from Mario Galaxy, where it's three separate trials that you're doing. It gets progressively harder. Uh, I think the first set of trials is like 12 floors. And then it gets further and longer and harder, so I don't know how much it actually totals up to, but that's how it actually works, so I'm correcting that mistake right now. And I'm deciding, because again, like, knowing that huge distinct difference in how it actually, you know, works, kind of changes how I play it a little bit too. So as a result, I got through the easy and the medium part today, and I think I kind of want to go for it. Now what it does is when you complete a trial or a section of the trials, it powers up your Master Sword a little bit. So right now our Master Sword's at 30 power, but if we beat the beginning trials, it'll bring it up to 40 power. And if we complete the medium trials, it'll bring it up to 50 power. And if you complete all three, it stays at 60 100% of the time. I also wasn't entirely too sure on the specifics of that, so like that's kind of new information for me. But yeah, that's what it actually does. So I might go ahead and try it. I think I can go ahead and do half of it now. Now right there, there was a little bit of a cut because if all you gotta do is just have a fire-based weapon or light a fire and let it sit next to ice and it will gradually melt. I'm cutting it out because it's, you guys, that was a whole minute. So you don't need the bullshit. That'd be 15 minutes, 15 seconds, you know, at the times four speed. But all the same, no point in having footage of me standing there. All right, we made it. It's kind of freezing up here. Kind of really, really cold, and this is more the reason why I wanted to go from the 
the Korok Forest and head west, opposed to heading north through a whole bunch more area, because that would uh, not necessarily be easy. I'm actually starting to question if this is what I think it is, and maybe it's not, like, this area? But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be this area. Like, it seems right, I think? Because I want to say I need to go, like, here. But I'm genuinely unsure. And the reason I'm trying to get there is because the the cold resistant armor is up ahead and that's one of the things I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna continue on with the trial of the sword just because I find it's it's my current obsession as of this point. I'm gonna try and see if I can do it all the way, period. Um as of right now though, I do think in our current position we might be able to get, we should be able to get the beginning trials easily. I did it without losing anywhere close to half health. I mean, it's really weird how a change in mentality can really make that much of a difference. Because I was struggling before, but once I knew you don't have to fight a hundred consecutive floors, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to expend these utilities to its fullest potential. And then I never got, like, I only lost about a quarter of hearts max. So I really think we can do it. Oh, there it is. I was actually beginning to wonder. Now, I'm here. Oh, yep, sure enough, there's the stable. I was thinking, I was like, this is probably the stable. I wonder if that means pick a friend is also nearby. Whatever, get me out of this cold shit. Alright, friend, this is shrine number 60. I actually think this might be the one I was thinking of. Hello? Ball? What the hell is that about? Um. But yeah, shrine number 60. Oh, yeah, this is definitely it. So basically... Let's find out where it starts to push. Okay, yeah, that's easy. I'm pretty sure this is the one I just bullshit last time. So, uh, I don't know where the treasure chest is, and I'm not entirely sure I care right now. But basically, we want, if we can get to it first, stop that. There. Uh, Griffin! I made it. I took an unreasonably long amount of time to get it in there. But, yeah. Fuck you. That's it. Can't really. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's see if. Oh, we can't stasis it either, though. You know what, I also thought of a much better idea, and that was just to do this. That would have made my life a lot easier if I just did that instead. Then I could have stasis the fan, put the ball down, and then made a run for it instead of trying to stasis the ball. Whatever. Um... I know what it wants. How is it? Let's give it a shot. It's really not that hard, thanks. Complicating dumb shit. Okay, now... We can make that. There. Easy peasy. 
It just took us much longer than it needed to. I'm not really sure what other possible way there is to do that, but that's the way I'm doing it. If Link ever feels like not being an idiot, it would be great. Also, by the way, I don't know if I said it, this is Shrine 60, meaning I guess we're halfway done, but I don't know if I'd really consider it halfway done, because half the Divine Beast, half the Shrines, but we still got the DLC stuff to take out as well. Stable, friend. Snowfield stable. They thought to themselves, what should we call it? Well, we're in a field of snow. Say no more. Are you... No, that's just a rock. Uh, you don't want to... Thank you. They don't really need any of that wood. It's, it's ours. Double axe. That actually sounds useful, though. Especially considering what I'm using in its place. Yo, there's a right dog and a wrong dog. Feed the dog by the pot, because the other dog's just going to steal your goddamn money. Just a bit of advice. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Hello, friend. Oh. Yeah. She just wants a picture of a stall horse. That's it. I don't have one. I really don't care. In hindsight, I bet it's actually pretty weird to go ahead and go from one style of commentary switching back and forth, but whatever. I teleported up here because, you know, the stable was backwards and I didn't want to walk all the way back and forth. I figured it just made a little bit more sense to teleport up here and do shit like that. Just so you know, that's what's going on. Ah, oh, shit, I know this one. Okay, this one sucks. It is actively impossible to do it without losing health, and I'm pretty sure the name of the game is just Swim. And that's it. So, I... Uh, it, like, it doesn't matter what sort of thing you put on there. You're just going to have to swim and hope you got the health necessary. So I guess we'll do this. Because you cannot make yourself warm enough for this. And I don't think Cryonis works. Although that might help a little bit. Yeah, that actually helped quite a bit. I just swam last time, but I guess you don't technically need to. Duly noted. It's a good thing I'm such a smart person. Well, it's a good thing they gave me a blessing because I was struggling so hard with that challenge. Money's important right now. Now, I'm in this Catch-22 where I know a Great Fairy is nearby, but at the same time I'm also thinking about equipment as well. A Great Fairy I think needs 5,000, and, well, we're still shy, but I, again, would much prefer the equipment. Okay, now this one's nice and long, and I can go ahead and continue talking about the Trial of the Sword. That was what I was making fun of myself for a second ago. It's, it's gotta be funny to be hearing me be like, Trial of the Sword, and then it's stable. Then it's some other bullshit. Trial of the sort, you know, it's just, it's a funny thing. I'm making fun of myself. But as far as the medium trials of the Trial of the Sword goes, I'm at a point where I only struggled the very, very beginning because I didn't understand what was going on and I wasn't prepared. So, like, it, it knocked me off at first, but I know when I redo it, I'm not going to lose three quarters of my hearts. I'm competent. I'm capable of that. The only issue is that that very first beginning chunk of the 
trial of the medium part focuses heavily on bullet time which given our current stamina that's very very limited so I'm in a half and half position where it's like health wise we're capable but stamina wise we don't really have the stamina to expend to do everything I'd like to do in long bursts so I'm not entirely sure how lucky I'd be able to go but I want to go ahead and again still try it now doing these I can guarantee to you they're gonna be fast forwarded because like doing just one section the beginning trials that's like a 30 minute endeavor right there so 40 minutes probably the video I saw was like 30 40 minutes so as a result it's not a thing that I want to go ahead and do live um, I'm not even sure if I would do post commentary or if I would just treat it like the pit of a hundred trials where I just throw in a whole bunch of remixes and stuff like that I mean I suppose post commentary might not be the worst idea considering but at the same yeah because then I could discuss the strategies and how to do things but I don't know I'm in a half and half spot like I feel like I should be doing it more like the cave of ordeals and the pit of a hundred trials where I just let it be and just let you guys go into it but at the same time like as I was looking at the stuff I was thinking I'm like okay well I can use this song for this environment and that kind of shit because I'm a total fucking loser so yeah I don't know I maybe post commentary is not the worst idea um, as far as the actual gameplay footage as you're watching, though, most of it is just me wandering around lost. I'm trying to get to certain destinations. I'm like, wow, this thing's way farther than I think it is. I stop. I find some shrines along the way, but, like, I'm in way over my head, and I'm super confused about everything that's going on. So, I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, it's like, well, I guess I had to explore this area anyway, so we find some stuff. It's... It's not a waste. Nothing in you do in this game is ever really a waste of time or energy, and that's kind of really good. Like, it's weird to think of a giant empty world as full, but they made it feel kind of full. And there's a shrine off in the distance for us. Link was doing some Spider-Man shit. By the way, again, I'm not actively trying to avoid shrines or anything. I just, sometimes the radar goes off and I can spot them. Sometimes I can't spot them. Just know that I'm not trying to avoid anything. A major test of strength. Okay. Well, let us prepare ourselves for the encounter appropriately. I want to do the Phantom Armor, but at the same time I can get more defense by using anything else. Hell, even the Climber's Gear has better defense than the phantom armor at this point that's kind of the thing I was talking about is like now the phantom armor has lived its usefulness and I won't really be getting everything I want out of it anymore this is actually perfect Now the dumb thing was the fact that I didn't let the ice do ice. Uh, I don't know why this isn't doing extra damage considering it's a guardian. Maybe it's because it's a major test of strength so they thought that might be cheating. That shouldn't have been as nice to me as it was but I appreciate it. I was like 10 years away from him. I can get another one of those pretty quickly if I just go back to Goron City. Uh, you're perfect. So we're gonna need to get rid of some of this shit for other shit. No, you don't want to start? Too bad. I'm telling you, stasis is so fucking good. In case you couldn't already see it for yourself. You're still not gonna do that. I'm gonna get myself more time to bop you. And it's gonna work. Okay, now we're out. We'll use this. There, it worked. 
Look, all three even. And an ancient core! Also, I am thinking I'm going to the wrong spot. And that maybe where I want to be is down here. Because this, I swear, it doesn't look right. But I'm not sure. Like, I'm going to keep heading that way and hope that something starts to look familiar. Because right now, nothing is. Thanks, friend. We have so much diamond, I'd like to point out. And we haven't even gotten to the part where you can get diamond super easily yet. Like, we, we we still got a ways to go before we get to the easy part of diamond. Like, consider that. Uh, here, let's do that. And then we'll go ahead and put our climbing stuff back on. Because we're need, gonna need to get out of this place. We should probably try about the diamond circlet now, maybe upgrade it, I don't know. This moose is minding its own business and then suddenly it's lit the fuck on fire and it's just like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought that moose thing was so damn funny. Like, I, I was holding back laughter at first, which is why it sounded kind of awkward, and then I was like, you know what, nah, let's go ahead and keep it. And what's also funny is when I activated that chew jelly, I didn't even realize, like, now looking back, I, did, I understand why there's two frozen guys there, but at the time, I didn't understand it. I was like, huh, there's two frozen guys here. Someone must have done something to freeze them, not realizing that it was me that did it. Okay, but going on as far as, you know, the last bit, the, the expert part of the trials, that I have not done. I will go ahead and try, but that expert part will probably wait till the end of the game. But even then, I think about, like, the bigger picture where it's like, if we do even just the beginning and middle parts, even just the beginning, that's 40 power one-handed weapon. That's a really good weapon. That's the best one-handed weapon you're gonna fucking get. If you get it to 50, that's like edge of duality territory, where that's a, you know, that is as strong as two-handed weapons are, and you're wielding that son of a bitch with one hand, so you're doing really, really good. If I get it up to full power, that's even better. But I also, I don't know, at that point it's kind of more like bragging rights, so I mean, if I did, maybe at the end of the game, or at least when I'm capable or competent maybe before going to Hyrule Castle might be fun, but like, I don't know. That's kind of where I view it as much less of a big deal as to where getting it up to 40 or 50 power would at least serve really good use. And be in case you're curious, no, it does not double it, so if I got it to 40, it would not boost it to 80. Getting it to 50 would not boost it to 100. It will always stay at 60 when around the malice that it's talking about. But now we've reached the point where I'm like, I understand where I need to be, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, great, this is the spot. Um, oh yeah, there was one other thing I actually wanted to mention, a secret I learned. Um, apparently ancient arrows have the ability to just disintegrate normal enemies. That's not a thing I learned. I didn't know that was capable. I just assumed they would work against anything else, kind of like... um. Let's go ahead and say the the beast balls inside of Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, something like that. But no, apparently they straight up go Golden Eye Rogue Agent and just disintegrate if you can go ahead and use it on a common enemy. Like, I watched a motherfucking Lionel get one shot, and that blew my mind. So, I haven't tried this, but I've seen it. I assume it probably only works if you shoot him in the face and it get, counts as a critical. But in other words, that's insane. That is a cool feature. Well, this did not go the way I intended, but at least I was right. It's not up here. It's right here. Meaning at some point I need to go around here and find... Well, no, because that's right there. So I guess I didn't do anything wrong, because I would have just gone that way. I had the right idea, I guess. I still got to find the fucking tower for this stupid-ass area. But at least now I... 
I don't know. I can't try and think of any sort of justification. What the hell do you want? Curry rice, Hylian rice, curry rice. Yeah, okay. It's not hard to get some Goron spice. I don't think I'll have any Hylian rice, though, do I? Because I haven't really been cutting down grass hardly at all. But I know where I can buy some Hylian rice. That's not here off the beetle. That's elsewhere. Alright, well this stable is actually weird in a unique way, I guess, if you want to think about it this way. There is no shrine right here. They expect you to use that shrine right there in the village because it's so damn close. So I'm just going to place a traveler's medallion here. We're going to look for the tower. And then, yeah. Well, in other words, I think that's about it. There's not really anything else worth a shit here.